Well, welcome everybody to race number 10. We're here at the Gateway International Raceway. Sam at Oscan is on pole for tonight's race. There is your full qualifying results. And here's the race command. Drivers, start your engines! All right, engines fired up. We are ready to go. Field is set and rolling right off. So, let's take a look at our point standings after race number nine. David Davison is still the points leader by 23 points over Ibra Hyman. Andrew Gardner third, Kenny Johnson fourth, Rodriguez fifth, Nikolai Sykes sixth. Cole Sampson jumps up to eight positions, he is seventh. Colin Bear remains in eighth, Nathan Norman goes up two spots, he is ninth. And Mark Knight drops a position, he is down to tenth. Alright, getting ready to go green here. Hmm, wait, I think I have the wrong points. Point standings. Yeah, I do. I totally forgot to add it up last time. Okay, let me do it now. Okay, so totally forgot to, uh, to add it up and show it the the uh, previous race but okay now it's a huge change Ibrahim is now the points leader he is up to seven he's seven points ahead of David Davison Colin Bear goes up to third Nikolai Sykes is fourth Gardner fifth then Johnson Knight Jones Rodriguez and Sampson top 10 all right here we go green flag is out we're underway I think I was in a rush in the previous race The 56 right on the tail of the leader. Bumps him out of the way. A little bump and run already. Right off the start. But not enough to move him out. Still got the lead here. Gonna try again. Alright, come to lead the first lap of the night. Sam and Oscan will take it. So very clean first lap, everyone made it through. So pretty packed up back here, three wide. Still three wide, a little bit, a little bit of a tap right there. Eric Monaco trying to squeeze down low, wasn't clear. Got the good run off the turn though, for that move. Yeah, he really pulled away. There's the previous point seater. He was seven points back, and oh, here we go. 11's gone around, the 98's in the wall. Looks like everyone else uh, made it through here, so that'll be our first caution of the night. Here comes the 49, Sam and Ozkin, and he'll come around and take the yellow flag. All right, first caution of the night. We'll take a look at the replay. Alright, let's take a look here. So the 11 on the low side. Looks like it started with Samson and Roberto Crown Jr. coming off turn 2. They got together. 98 gets the 11. Goes spinning into the wall, the 98. But keeps it straight. But the 11 goes around. Does a couple of spins. But no further contact after that. So should be alright. But we are not done. We did have a second wreck coming to the line. And that involved the 9 and the 51. Let's take a look here. Parker Smith and uh, Blaze Ibatar. They're almost 4 wide going through 3 and 4. They got together. Parker Smith and Zebatar into the wall. The 51 nearly clips the 88. But Smith goes sliding down the front straight away. Yeah, got quite a bit of damage from that. It was a hard hit for both of them on the inside. But uh, that was it for them. So two racks under the caution. Yeah, it won't rage in Rex though. But I think the 9 and the 51 may be slow after that one. Alright, let's get back to the restart. 
All right, getting ready to go green. So we still got all drivers, all 37 drivers out on the racetrack. Samad Oskan is our race leader at the moment. Nikolai Sykes in the 56. Now in the top five in the point standings. Andrew Gardner, the only winless driver who's in the top five, sitting in fifth. That 10 truck's not too far at the moment. He's currently running in eighth, I could see. How about other drivers like Cole Colby in the 12, who's the last in the points? Only one top 10 to his name, zero top fives. But started second in tonight's race. He's currently running in third. Looking for a great finish here at Gateway. All right, here we go. Green flag is out. We're back underway. Huge jump for the 56. Really big jump. Can he get down to the low side? Yes, he will. Colby now looking low for a second here. The 54 battling the 77 now. Very wide over there to 33 and nearly gets turned by Carson Manning. Now Manning makes the move for... Looks like it was a for 13th place. Gateway just made it clean that time. Three wide here. Oaks really pushing on that 19. Got a battle for the race lead. Oscan led that last uh, lap. Way up the racetrack. The 56 goes. A 12 is in the middle. Johnson's going to take advantage. Try to make it three wide. Still side by side for second. 56 trying to hang on. Good for the 49, gonna pull away here. All right, Nikolai able to get away here. Now chasing down the 49 again. Already got one win to his name, and he's looking for a championship, a possible championship contender. They've been pretty good. 15.3 average finish at the moment. Running in second here. He's currently 37 points back, so he won't. Well, maybe he could nab the points lead. Maybe he gets maximum points and the leader finishes last. Or close to last. Here's Eric Monaco in the 31. Eric Monaco, we know, also has a win this season, but the pre but then the next race after that, he failed to start. So that really took a took a big hit in the points. Pretty clean racing here at Gateway. We tend to have big wrecks here. Here goes Cole Golby for second. Gonna clear him off too. Still on the low side. Yeah, Cole Colby needs the points, needs the wins. This 12 truck, I remember, they were dominant way back when we did the Super Speedway Series. Also known as the Rookie Series. Three wins in a row, I remember that 12 truck. And they went on to win the championship. And now they've dusted off as number 12, get it back on the racetrack. However, so far it's been the polar opposite for this 12 team. But right now he's on the back end of that 49. Good corner by the 49, able to pull away. Here goes the 56, looking to retake second. Monaco sends it in there hard too. 
That's gonna cause them to open the door for the 54. And they'll try to go three wide. Close to the halfway point. Monaco taking third. Going for second. Let's take a look at the rest of the field. So there's a nine. Now yeah, we kind of expected him to be slow. A 51, not so much. He's still with the pack. Mostly side by side racing back here. There's the 11. Yeah, didn't, didn't pick up much damage there. So. But still further back, 32nd at the moment. Last lap was a 33.333. Wow. A lot of threes there. Whoa, to 62. Well, I almost caused the next caution. Bill Jones in a 14. Eighth in the points at the moment. 20th running in the race. So. Not in a very ideal spot at the moment. Here's a three. Who was looking to take the points lead back. Seven points only. But Ibrahimin is up ahead. Not by a lot though. Currently 12th. For the other drivers in the top 10. What about Carlos Rodriguez? He dropped four positions. But he's still ninth in the points. So he's still in the mix. Still got plenty of races left. So anything can happen here. Last time around, two tenths behind. So far, only two different leaders. Gateway being an egg shaped track, just like Darlington, but much flatter. Hour doesn't really provide too much unique racing, multi groove racetrack. And no banking at all. Hardly any banking. Here goes Cole Colby. And there's Tim Randolph in the 54. Tim Randolph has had a rough this season. This team has not scored a single top 5. Not a single top 10 either. Not the only driver. Cowboyton also as well. Cowboyton sits 32nd. So they're not last. But they're close to last. And big run here for Monaco. Johnson's also going to follow him. Gonna push him past if he can. Gardner in a 10. Gardner is 39 points behind. Running in 5th. Running 5th in the points at the moment. Probably gonna gain quite a bit in tonight's race. And no one's able to catch that 49 only on the restart. Because the second they get close, they run side by side, and then Hoskin just pulls away. Cole Colby pulled away a little bit from the 56, sort of. Could give him some breathing room and he closes right back in and looking low. They just keep going back and forth. He's still looking but he's not fully committed. Alright. Playing it smart. And we're closing in on the 9. Gonna put him a lap down. Monaco around the tail of the 56. Got a little close there. 10 to go here. 10 laps to go. Gonna catch the 9 in the turns. Not quite. Gonna be back straight away. Yep, right on the back straight away. Much better. Should be easy pass for everybody. Or for at least our leaders here. Cole Colby right on the tail. Here's his chance to make a move. If you got the chance, go for it. The 56 is going to go for it. 
Uh, Colby waited too long. He didn't want to pass him. So Sykes back to second. Monaco in fourth. Looking to pounce. When's the last time we had a clean race here at Gateway? Definitely been a long time. Colby manages to remain in second. Sykes could not complete the pass. Got other drivers. Here is the 1, the 29. Colin Bear looking to make it two in a row if he can. Oh, I just noticed he's... Uh, oh yeah, he just won his second race of the season. Yeah, I know these races have been spread out a little more. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get back on track. Get a, at least one race a day as the one rides his own teammate up the track. More contact being made. Very aggressive there by the one. Hey, Kenny Johnson, he's also in the mix. Yeah, the uh, Red Horse Racing guys are running very good this season. The one in the 77, three wins. And in the other, the 17. Oh, in the 7. Well, Samson has not won yet. And yeah, actually, I don't have the 17 in this field. Yeah, there you go, Cole Colby. Once again, right on the back bumper. He makes the pass now. Can he hang on? It's going to be a three-way fight for this win. I don't see anybody else having a chance. He's there. He's got a nose underneath. And he falls back a bit. Got to play aggressive, got to play hard. Will they put the bumper to him? Yeah, great runoff turn two that time. Here he goes again in the three and four. The low side is a mixed bag coming through three and four. Can't quite get there. One and two is his best bet. Gonna be three to go coming to the line. This 49 team has put on a hell of a show here. He runs the outside. It looks like he's giving way to the low side, but he's not. That outside line is pretty good through three and four. It's one and two you want to look out for. Could be a two horse race. We'll see. The 56 has slipped up a little bit. Colby following his line here. Yeah, both drivers need the win. Two laps to go. Who's it going to be? Here he goes. To the inside in the turn one. Could be the race winning move. Oscan in the 49 trying to stay high. Trying to stay with him on the high side, not stay high. And for the 56 and Nikolai Sykes back in the picture, possibly. Oh, he is. He's right there. Oh, he hit the lose a race like this. Well, now they're side by side for second. Big lead here for Cole Colby. White flag is out. One more lap to go. Battle for third. Oscan going to do everything he can. Catch that 12 truck. In it turns three and four. Don't think it's gonna happen. Checkered flag is out. A mega win for Cole Colby. Last in the points, but he'll take the checkered flag here tonight at Gateway. Cole Colby wins at Gateway.
And we had a wreck at the end. Cowell in heavy damage. Bill Jones on the access road. He's got quite a bit of damage too. The 80 of Pitcher. The 11 of Flora Johnson. The 07. Man, where did this come from? <laughs> we only had that one caution at the start of the race. Had one at the start, had one at the end. And it looks like it was a big one too, so... Uh, we'll take a look at the four race results first. Alright, so Cole Colby the winner tonight. First win, first top time, top five, second top ten. He able, able to steal the win away from Sam and Oskan. Only led the last two laps. Timed it perfect. The low side in the turn one was his, was his, uh, I guess his golden ticket. Three and four. He kept trying in three and four, but it wasn't working. It's a much tighter radius. But so, a lot of, and it was the outside line that was that prevailed. But one and two, that was the way to go. So, kind of like uh, Darlington. I mean, it's his egg shape as well, so similar, I guess. Seven else can. We'll have to wait another, we'll wait another race to get his first victory. Oh, so close. Sat on the pole, only lost the lead once, but got it back. Led the rest of the way until those final two laps. Eric Monaco able to get third. In Tim Randall fourth, Nikolai Sykes dropped back to fifth there in those final two laps. Was running in third, second, third, swapping with Colby. But I pretty much almost the entire race. But uh, fell back two more spots. Kenny Johnson getting sixth, uh, Johnny Cox seventh, Colin Bear eighth, Rodriguez ninth, and Andrew Gardner tenth. Here's the rest of the race results, and it looks we were about to have all 37 drivers finish the race. And now we had that big crash at the end, which we will take a look at right now. So right on the last lap, coming off turn two, we got Stephen Oakes, Ryan Butcher, and the 33 of, uh, I still forgot the name, Max Anderson. So this was the round 15th, 13, 14, 15, Butcher ran at high, got off the 33, came back in front, or not in front, got into the 20, I was about to say in front of the 3, and then Bill Jones, and then it snagged Mark Knight in the 30, and then the 19 at Carson Manning, and then they just started piling in, big hits. And there's Cavalden, there's Pitcher, there's Johnson, and then there's the 07 of Bouchard. Wow, just like that, on the last lap. They ran it so clean. All race long. Even that first caution wasn't even a big wreck, and then all of a sudden, right on the last lap, where they're all spread out. That's where the big wreck ha happens. Happens sometimes, not often. Yeah, Cavalden, the, the other driver without a top to his name was running in I mean he was already having a pretty bad race already 24th with the trucks that's uh like a low pack lower back of the pack sort of but ends up crashing setting him even further back Bouchard took the worst of it he was the only driver unable to drive away from the crash go on board here with the 07 he went low then went high looks like that was gonna be the best way to go but then the 11 was there and he also slides into the 80 and then gets hit as well from the 98. Just took three big hits all around. Yeah, all of, just a big wreck right on the last lap. Like it's a super speedway race. But yeah, just a mess coming to the line or come on the last lap. Now that was definitely unexpected there. You know, I thought everyone was going to finish. All nice and clean, except for maybe the 51 and the 9 and the 11. And then uh, all these guys started wrecking. I guess it was go time. And look at Stephen Oaks' truck. His tr Actually, he probably took the worst of it. He's got roof damage. And he didn't flip. Yeah, you know it's a really bad hit when you take roof damage. And you don't even go upside down or even on his side. Yeah, he just gets hit on the right side. Into the wall. Then Bill Jones. Then Mark Knight. And then here comes the rest. There's the 11. Yeah, must have hit that weak spot there. Because he only took one big hit. But it was one huge one. Bouchard took three. But not in the side. Not, well, a little bit of damage, but not like Oaks. So either the 07, 23, equally share big hits. And there's Cole Kobe getting the checkers in yellow there at the end. Alright, so that is it here tonight at Gateway. We'll now take you to Victory Lane.